As evening drew in at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden, there was a sense of excitement around the grounds as the sellout crowd waited to see both Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic step out on court for their opening matches at the 2011 BNP Paribas Open. The Swiss superstar was up first in a potentially tricky second round encounter with 27-year-old Russian Igor Andreev. Federer holds a three-love lead in matches between the two, but they have always been close affairs. And the opening set of this one proved to be just the same. Federer eventually making the breakthrough in the 12th game. Federer has got the break. The second set was just as tight as Andreev battled hard for a way back into the match. But as the set reached a crucial stage, the second seed was able to up his level at just the right time. That'll do it. Four straight wins against Andreev now for Federer. Didn't lose a set this time. Looked very sharp in the opening set. A few wobbles in set number two. But still, we'll be delighted to get this one done in straight sets. It's always nice to get that first win, especially against a player who I've had some really tough times in the past. I've never lost against him, but I've never beaten him in straight sets either, and he really makes me work extremely hard. So I really thought it was a good match from my side today. It's a good start into the tournament, which hopefully is going to be a successful one. Third seed Novak Djokovic was next out on court for his second round clash with Kazakhstan's Andrei Golubev. Djokovic has had an amazing start to the season, backing up his Australian Open victory with another title in Dubai. And once again he showed he is the form player on tour at the moment as he brushed aside Golubev in the opening set. He's feeling the ball beautifully on the strings. The Kazakh took an early lead in the second set, but the world number three soon hit back as his superior fitness began to tell. Wow. Sooner it is, it's over. What an athlete this guy is. He's done it, and you can see how much it means to him. Nice little fight back there in the last game of the match. It's been a great start of the season for me, being on the winning streak, and uh, but I haven't played a tournament for an uh, official match for you know around two weeks, so it's always tricky to to start off the tournament well, and especially if you have an opponent who is you know, really playing well lately, it comes up. He came from a Davis Cup win against Berdych in uh, away in, in Czech Republic. And, you know, he steps in and he showed that he's a quality player in the second set, it was a break up. But I managed to, you know, to, to get the break back and, you know, get, the, get under the control of the match and played really well overall. The final match of the day out on court two saw the rising young star Milos Raonic take on American veteran Marty Fish. The Canadian has been a revelation so far this season and picked up his first title in San Jose last month. And his newfound confidence served him well in the opening set. Oh, that's really good. Look at him change direction with that ball. Raonic had beaten Fish on his way to the final in Memphis three weeks ago. And despite some spirited resistance from the American in the second set, it was Raonic who was able to make the most of his opportunities. That's wonderful. Boy, he held that ball last second. You can see he's grimacing. Back pain there. Yes! That's the way to finish off a match. Milos Saranic gets the better of Marty Fish for the second time in a couple of weeks. Nice touch at the end there from Fish.
The BNP Paribas Open continues on Monday with world number one Rafael Nadal in third round action. And you can catch all that right here live on TennisTV.com.